MindView actually started as a mind mapping software. And if you're not familiar with mind mapping, it's essentially a structure that starts in the middle and explodes outwards. And the idea behind the mind map is a great way of planning and brainstorming. And the nonlinear structure essentially engages both sides of the brain, enhancing retention, comprehension, and basic understanding of what's applied onto the map. Companies like CEG, the number one trainer for financial advisors and wealth managers, promotes mind mapping to replace that old school discovery meeting done on a legal pad. So the idea would be you would set the client in the middle of a template and you would begin to expand on this during the initial discovery meeting. In this presentation, I'll take you through how MindView works and also how people are using mind mapping in your field. So now I'm going to jump into the mind map. And you're going to notice that once you're in the system, that it has a pretty familiar look and feel. We're actually goal partners with Microsoft, so we've actually adopted their ribbon structure, look and feel, and keyboard shortcuts. So what you would do is when you typically meet with the client, you pull out your yellow legal pad and, and diligently start taking notes. And then you have to go and recreate that information somewhere else. MindView allows you to create a template and do that discovery phase right in the mind map. So again, keyboard shortcuts to start building out the map. Insert allows me to apply a new idea to the map. Once I'm on that level, I can click enter to apply another idea on that level. Again, enter to apply another idea on the level. And again, once more, those keyboard shortcuts were insert to add a new level or new idea. And once we're on that level, we just click enter to add another idea on that level. So I'm going to apply a numbering scheme to this, and this is going to play a critical role in the office export features I'm going to demonstrate later. You can see that once I apply that numbering structure that it's related out in a nice clockwise flow and rotation. And so the idea with mind mapping is you want to get everything into the system per se. So as these ideas are coming out in conversation, you're able to catch them. And once there's a pause in the conversation, everything's based on drag and drop. So you can start to move these into their proper sections. And you'll see that once you do that, all the numbering scheme gets adjusted. So now I'm going to move to a more advanced template. This is the same mind map that we started with, but a more advanced template with more subsections and content added. We define content in a variety of different manners, and the first piece of content I want to add to this map is a branch picture. So I'm going to highlight the relevant branch and come to the top ribbon here and select branch picture. This will allow me to search my computer for the relevant image that I want to place onto the mind map. These mind maps can also be adjusted. You can expand them or compress certain sections of them to get a better overview of the map. The idea behind these maps is you're going to have a long-term relationship with the client. It's not transactional. So as you get to know them better, these maps can grow and grow. And it's a lot easier way to get an overview as opposed to writing a lot of notes and, and piling them, them up in a Word document or Excel document or even a CRM. It's just an easier way to get an overview of what's being discussed with the client. You can also save a link to this mind map in the CRM, for example, CRMs like Microsoft Dynamics or Salesforce. So if you want to track the customer relationship in the CRM, you can just simply attach this mind map into the client card. And when the client calls in, you can pull it up to get a nice overview of what's being discussed with the client. Another way that you can change the view of the mind map is if you come to the view tab and you come to detail level. Detail level will allow us to select the amount or detail level that we want to show on the map. We recommend using detail level 2 to get the best overview of the mind map. Staying on the theme of adding content, I'm going to come to 1.2. I'm going to go up to our home tab here and select text note. Selecting text note will populate a text ribbon here at the bottom of the screen. 
I can enter in the desired text or define a particular sub-branch within the mind map. Once I close this out, a paperclip icon will populate on that branch. I can hover over it and click that to get an overview of what's being defined in that particular subsection. Another piece of content I can add is if I come to Retirement 2.4, I can go to our attachment. This will allow me to search my computer for the relevant attachment that I want to apply to this. In particular, I'm going to pull the Wealth Assets. You'll see that a paperclip icon is populated after I've selected that particular file. I can hover over it, and I'm one click away from pulling that Excel spreadsheet up. You can also attach W-2s, contracts, and even tax returns as well. So it's not just limited to Excel spreadsheets. Once a meeting is concluded, I can export this mind map out to Word. So if I want to give the document to my assistant to file away or hand off to the client for a tangible plan of action, I can do that easily. All I need to do is go to File, go to Export, choose Microsoft Word, and in particular, the Advanced Word Export Settings. Once I'm in here, I can pick a template or import a defined or particular company branded template. I can also come to the General tab and select the information that I want to include or omit from this export. MindView works with Microsoft Word to create this professional looking document. Now that we're in the Word document, you'll see the image of the mind map has been carried over to the top of this document. You also see that numbering scheme that we applied at the beginning has also been laid out to an interactive table of contents. I can hold down Control and click a particular section that I want to jump to. You'll see that all the content that we added to the map, the, the images, the text notes, links to websites, even that wealth asset Excel budget has been attached to this document as well. So again, what's nice is I can print this out after the initial meeting and hand off to an assistant to file away or give to the client so they walk away with the tangible plan of action. Or I can even save this and drop it in an email and email it out to whoever else I need to get this information to. So now I'm going to move to another template that we have. And basically, we were working with a wealth manager to create this template. And essentially, what all these are, are all the offerings from a wealth manager. And I'm just going to expand a few of these out here. So now, what the wealth manager would do is, during that initial discovery meeting, they'd hold down Control and highlight all the relevant sub-branches that had value or interest to the client. And I'm just simply holding down control and clicking with my mouse to select these sub branches. Furthermore, they take it one step after the meeting. They would go to insert and go to the icon feature. Once in there, they would apply an icon normally in the form of a check mark. And what that's done is it's basically applied a check mark to all the offerings that had value or interest to the client. Furthermore, they could take it one step further by simply going to View and going to our filter function. Once in the filter function, we can create a filter. Now these exports can be saved in MindView and they can also be exported out as well. I'm going to add a detail level, branch icon, equal to check mark. And again, you can save these so you're not recreating them every time you come into the system. Now, what that's done is filtered out all of the offerings or aspects of their wealth that had value to the client. And furthermore, what they would do after the meeting would be to select these particular offerings, go to the home section in the text note editor, and start to define these a little bit further as they were related to the client. And what's nice is after the meeting is completed, I can go to File 
And again, we can go to our export features and export this out to Word. So they can take away a tailored plan of action that was discussed during the meeting and how relevant it was for them. Also, with any of these templates, we can go to Save As and simply save this as a template so we're not recreating this every time the client comes in. Moving back into the mind map, the next thing I want to show is our task and timeline tab. And essentially what this allows us to do is apply timeline information to certain investments. So for example, we can come to our 401k here and come to the task and timeline tab. We can apply a start and end date to a particular investment so that when we want to tailor it and move it into our timeline view, we can actually lay that investment out on an interactive dynamic timeline so the client can see how their wealth matures over a duration or period of time. Also, another nice feature is the fact that we have a calculation feature. This is basically a light version of Excel where we can apply equations and variables to these outside branches and summarize down to the root just like in Excel. Now with the calculation feature, you can take it one step further. You can go to File, Export, and actually export that financial information to Excel. So this is how some of the training companies we work with promote the software. And the idea behind it is to evolve that discovery session so you're not writing on a, on a notepad or a legal pad. You're essentially taking it to the next level using the mind mapping tool. And as you continue the relationship with the customer, it's just a great way to get an overview of what's been discussed before. And with that other wealth manager template, using that to figure out and filter out what the client is interested in. So you can see it's a great planning and brainstorming tool, but it's also a great productivity tool because of all the exports to the whole Microsoft Office suite.